Greetings mortals, I am Natus, the ruler of the underworld, and today we will be reacting to the newest chapter of My Academia, chapter 391, titled, The World She Rejected! Huh, we are almost in the 400 chapters. No, never realized, you never real. it's weird how we never actually realized how close we are to like, milestone chapters until you like, in the final couple of chapters into it. Huh, funny. No. Anyway, so let's get into this, uh, this this chapter. So we start off this chapter with a bunch of twice uh, screaming, "All heroes must die!" As the as, as then we have uh, the narrator saying, "Toga wise nonstop." <laughs> is this actually what this is gonna be? This transformation from Toga to twice is gonna be called Toga wise. I mean, I know it's gotta be in the official uh, translation. I don't think narrations are usually in it, but it's kind of funny to think that's what it's, this is being called. Anyways, then we have Pixie Bob screaming, "It never ends!" Pixie Bob, Quirk, Earthflow. What is anime? Oh, we go into anime where every single character needs to have their name and quirk, and every time they appear or something. As there, Pixie Bob using stop right there. As then we have. Uh, a bunch of like mod being sent to them and sending them all away. As then we see that from that mod that uh, was just destroyed, uh, well, I think uh, here's where I think it's going. I think it what's happening is that like one uh, when they, when she destroyed those mods, there were twice that was being created right above it, and then when she destroyed it, that one was like propelled up in the air. And that copy also made another twice copy, and then that one uh, is not her back. As then we have Tiger screaming, Uyuku! As he's slamming a few twices as he thinks to himself, This is bad. Without Earthflow, we can't co contain the anime. As they have uh, a bunch of twices uh, uh, grabbing her as she screams, Yama Yamara! Which I love, that's a good thing because, I mean, not to be, not to be then, yeah, do too dark, but. Considering how uh, dangerous Earthflow is to, uh, to Toga's plans and all that, or the scheme's whole thing, I kind of have to wonder if the Pixie Pop is not going to be that, if you know what I mean. Just saying, like, she is very useful and a very big asset to the heroes, and now she's being completely covered by every single Twice copy. Just saying, I'm going to be surprised if some of that, like, Rage's type uh, uh, measuring is going around her front right now. As then we have the the evolution of this trans move or whatever it's gonna be called, maybe Toga's version of this move, as it's named Sadman's Death Parade. Yeah, I could see it. As then it's like a bunch of twice, just I think gangling up on individual heroes or something. Oh no, it's kind of difficult to read. Really get. I'm I'm just going to assume that's a bunch of twice is gangling up on one individual. Then we see uh, I. I'm not exactly certain which hero that is, if that is even a hero we've seen, but we see some giant hero be like, oh! As then we see some other heroes be like, uh, uh, struggling, as then we have another saying, Toga's continuous clones clones herself after transforming into twice. The time limit of her quirk, uh, of her transformation quirk, depends on the amount of blood consumed. But the heroes have no way of no to know how much blood Toga has in stock, and even if they knew, it knew, which I don't. What's that to say? How much blood Toga has? Like I don't want to say she. Oh, wait, she had a droplet of uh, Dakus, but then she. But and that's the one I remember. But twice as I believe was said that she was given it by Dobby, but I don't know if it was like a file or if there was a substance amount that to that Dobby got for her. Like, I think we've seen that, but it was like in that interaction before the war started, but I'm not exactly certain if uh, if it was ever fully addressed. Or, or, like, I'm not sure if we saw it fully, but I think it wasn't like a big, I don't think it was like a full, like, um, a full glass. I think it was a full glass of that, it could be, like, yeah, I'm not certain remembering how much it did, or it was even actively stated how much it was. But regardless to say is, I don't think it was like a huge, huge amount, so they should like, 
At most, I would say, I, I believe it was there that, like, one glass is about a day was worth, so I don't think it's that long. So I think it should be, like, I guess this is supposed to hint it's going to not last long. But anyway, then we cut to some other places. We see uh, that Shoto also passed out after his defeat of Dobby. As they were the saying, if the heroes falter even once, as we see, uh, I think Natsu and Fuyumi comforting Rice, and she should also be in a terrible position. I think she should be in Austin, in the, aside from Dobby, in the worst day of them, because again, like, she was the first one who's in there. And, you know, she has, like, I feel like, physically speaking, she'd probably be the one that's most, like, vulnerable. I mean, you could also say fully me, but I feel like Grace would be more because, you know, spending all the, that time in the hospital. I all last, even that's less physical than fully me, but again, like, it doesn't matter. Pretty much everyone except not to fully me are not done and out now. Then we see uh, Ida in that, uh, in that city that he was left after the shortest final push. As we have the narrator saying, an ocean of clones will wash them away in no time at all. As we see uh, uh, that Ida just staring there, thinking, oh, I should do something, I should do something. Then we see, I think, Hawks, yeah, I think it's supposed to be Hawks, standing up, taking like, I think, just a random katana as he's moving towards it. Remember the idea is like the heroes, everyone who can move now. Heroes is even you know who can barely move without tr going there to try to help, but again, like <laughs> the Hux is literally shaking. Not out of fear, but just out of fear, like he's so hurt. Like he is like like all of it. Like I don't think he has. I think he, his quirk was a big stolen, and yeah, just it's not looking good here. And anyway, they cut to Chavo, who's pretty much like the one who can actually do anything at this point, and she's a guy determined. As we have the twice copies, like. Alright, wait, it says that they wash away, they're not being like just uh like oh symbolically we washed away and all out. The way the twice copies are working right now, it looks like they are literally like a water flow of twices says going at it because they're like being like shot off in the air because Ocho is not in the air and they're like all moving up and down. <laughs> it's actually kind of hilarious to think <laughs> how much or uh, it looks like they are just like a water wave now. I mean, to be fair, I think it was when Sandman's Prayer was first used, it also kind of looked like a waterway, but now it looks even more like it. But yeah, anyways, then Chuck Oko moves it away from it. As they have the real Toga uh, look, being more to her side, and she's like, Toya-kun, what happened? Did you die? Did someone else leave me? And she's again sad, like, Dami may not have been, like, Dami may have been the most... Out of it, not seeing the league as a family as much as the other members have, but you know, she there's still some the other ones still kind of like them, you know, like that brother. I don't know, this I don't know, they feel it was probably the same as the brother as in the Shodoroki family that you know kind of just keep, stays away from everyone, does, does his own thing. So you get that kind of idea. As long as she's upset, he also laughed. Because again, like we actually think about pretty much every man, like most members of the League of Villains are like, oh, like the core members, I would say. The ones where you know you would say the family, the ones that were in the uh, League of Villains arc. Like the Compass guy is now in prison, and if you know even that, he's now in prison. I mean, he can't even she can't even see him anymore. Spinner, I don't know if she's aware of what happened to Spinner, but we know he's as far as he's we know he's a vegetable now. Uh, Dobby could very likely be uh, from what she knows and from me, no, Dobby is just straight up dead. Like, I don't see him surviving. Like, I'm sorry, but you cannot tell me that Dobby is alive. The guy burned through his insides to outside. He, realistically speaking, should just be a, the outdoor, a cocoon in terms of, like, how much life is. It's an open cocoon at this point. That's all I feel like is Dobby, and that's all you should be. So, Dobby should be that. They have to Tomura who is still there, but Tomura cannot really is nowhere to be found. He's far. I think he's like the farthest away from anyone. So yeah, you are basically like Toma is basically just like herself at this point, with everyone else either not being aware of the situation, being a vegetable, imprisoned, or just straight up being that. So oh yeah, twice also that. So yeah, even more. Kind of those, uh, like she is pretty much alone at this point. Anyways, then we have her like I guess trying to move away, but then she gets ensnared by that wire that Ochako has as she's like moving closer she has wait in that water slide of twices how the hell does this even move this way 
as then we have uh, Otaku using zero gravity spacewalk as she kind of moves to a, the side right like it's not even thing flash it just seems like you know it just kind of move to move to you know use her gravity to move around easier and then we have a uh, close up of that twice I guess she recognizes this is the real what the toga twice oh tw was it twice or whatever toga wash or whatever it was and then we have a close up of the uh, close up of twice and then we have a chocolate saying but the we met each other for the first time last summer, but the way I think has changed a lot since then. He's gonna try to give a speech to try to calm her down. She's like, that? that's like the best option. Like, you know that you have many options to deal with. Like, because again, like, you're basically much alone at it. Like, you're in the worst state we could possibly be. And they have uh, twice, uh, well, Toga just kind of trying to cut away the rope as she tells him, didn't I tell you it's too late? As in the chocolate screams, I, I know, and I'm sorry, but I finally found you. As Twice is like, shut up. Oh, Toga is like, shut up. As they have Toga saying, you've been crying. I'm sure the reason you that that you can't do things that Twice could do, and why you can't fully become him, as we see, uh, I, I think the attempt at making a, the Tomura copy and the copy and Ophone copy, it be... As then we have the flashback with what Suyu said previously uh, to Ochako about how Toga's quirk works. And Suyu says, if so, we can assume her love doesn't it extend to Shigaki and to others. That's why she can't use their quirks. Okay, dick thing to say, Suyu. I get what you mean, but still kind of a dick thing to say. As then we have Ochako thinking to herself, that's what Tsuyu was saying. I feel like this more like saying. She said, is, That's what Tsuyu chan theorized, but as then we have, have the things that Twice is saying, as they're like, all heroes must die. And she was like, After seeing Toba's tears, I think I understand. It's because you've mixed your feelings with murderous intent and and diluted, diluted your pure love. Again, power of law, power of friendship, all that type of nonsense. Please do not have that be the ending. Uh, think, I mean, say what you want about the final blow on Dobby, but that final was at least realistic. Please do not have this be uh, a best friend's crying sass. Please, no. As then we see some of the twice uh, that uh, transformation kind of go getting undone. As then we get the uh, uh, final page of the chapter, as we get some of that, as we have the mask thing going up in slime as Togo just screams Sh you shut your mouth Ochako Uraraka what could you possibly understand about me as they, we get all the twice copies even more enraged as she started to regain the her own shape in it as it seems like there's like one uh, hero dead next to her and then we have her starting to move now I think her quirk would still be, now I'm not entirely certain it, now I'm questioning if her, now I don't think, uh, wait, do, do twice this disappear now because she stopped it or would it have to be like every single twice would have to dis be destroyed be without them making a copy for them all to be permanently gone because twice is, Toba is just twice is clearly getting undone but it, if everyone else is, if other twices are getting undone, that's I think the question, but I don't think they are getting undone. So I feel like the boy is still, still continuing, it's just that the, the most solid one out of them is just not going to be participating. Now it's going to be all twice copies just to destroy, which will be easy because, well, it will be easier because they are, you know, have a lot less stamina than anyone than anyone there should be, but still, consider how many of them there are, and consider, you know, all the power ones, the ones who like really do sh big ways, like all the ones that could be very useful against two ices are currently away, like, or out, like, Endeavor and uh, Shiga and uh, Shoto cannot help. Hawks does not lo no longer possess his quirk. I I Izuko is somewhere else, Bakugo is still in a dead state, not sure if he's a lot been revived yet. So it literally is just kind of even if they now they have an easier way to eliminate them, they simply have nothing they can do against the enemy. Uh, but 
Yeah, and when he's doing the final panel of the chapter where Jock's like, oh shit, that did not work. That talk of love did not work. Hopefully, oh my god, I have to be actually more. Maybe that's what we'll work later. But it's not, as we have Jock and realizing, oh shit, this is gonna get dangerous. As then we have, uh, then they're saying, a girl, a girl cries out. Yeah, this is not going to end. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to end. I honestly, I guess I get the feeling that what this talk is going to do now is probably just rush to sh uh, uh, Chaco to finally kill to kill her or something because again like that's like she's very biased so I feel like she could probably use the twice copies to her for her movement and I feel like twice copies will also help her like you know kind of give her a funny everyone don't guys copy copy quickly uh, put yourself uh, put your backs up, up so she can use us as a footing or something like that like I feel like again I don't Think twice again getting destroyed. It's difficult to say specifically, but yeah, twice. It seems like we're going to a proper 1v1 with Chaco and Toga. Maybe someone's going to participate, but we don't really know. Hopefully, at least hopefully, we'll uh, have this proper fight. Although, again, I'm not saying exactly how. I mean, it will kind of continue the trend when it comes to the League of Villains having the worst possible fates you could have. I feel like Toga is going to have also a very brutal death. Just saying, we are kind of raw right now, so let's not have Toga uh, ruin it, if you know what I mean. So, we have to wait. Uh, next chapter, like I said, it's, go it's going to be a battle between Chaco and uh, Toga. We're going to see if it's going to have that kind of ending. Although, again, we could be cutting away from it and to eliminate some of the other less impactful for fights. You know, like Oriyama versus that random Tardis escapee. Whatever the other guy are doing, like that big moment I was apparently going to have. Like, uh, we still have things we can. Or maybe all for one versus all oh my. Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, I'm not saying those are like, important or even going to be that significant or even that insane, but I could honestly see some of those guys be like just to like fill in the volume or something. But yeah, anyways, that's my thoughts on this chapter. I hope you leave your thoughts on this chapter in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And with that said, I cannot wait to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.